Hello dancers and holiday enthusiasts! If you've read the title of this video and you've seen the thumbnail, you probably know what this is about. And if not, well, I'll tell you anyway, I suppose. Um, so if you have watched me before, you might know that I have started making my own ballet skirts from scratch, really. I created my own pattern. I'm hand stitching the whole entire thing, which takes forever. But I did it because I wanted to have skirts in colors and patterns that just weren't available online and I just couldn't buy. So this video is about my next themed ballet skirt, which is going to be a wintery, Christmassy, holiday, giga de idea skirt. So my idea for this is to follow the same pattern that I have, so the same power mesh uh, fabric, just really stretchy, I quite like that. And we felt hand stage waistband. But I want to add some hand painted snowflakes to the fabric. This might prove challenging, so we shall see. I am going to release two colorways for this design. They have these two fabrics that I have in here. One of them is this red fabric. There you go. It's really pretty. It's as bright as the orange that I was just showing you, but in red. And the other one is this new fabric that I ordered, which is like a light blue. And it's also like really pretty. I was going to order a lighter one originally because I thought it might be nicer, but it was out of stock, so I have to make two. Hopefully it will look really pretty. So I'm going to be using this Snowflake stencil that I bought online and hopefully I can make it work. <laughs> we shall see. I still haven't cut the actual skirts. As you can see, the fabric is still in the bag it came in. I haven't really touched it, but I have some extra fabric from another skirt that I made. And I'm going to cut a little piece of this and try the paint on to see if it works. Because if it doesn't work, then, well, I'm not going to ruin my bigger piece of fabric for no reason. So I went to see if this is going to work. And if not, I will have to change tactics, I suppose. So what I'm going to do is change this camera angle so you can see what I'm doing. And we'll test this and hopefully it will work and I won't make a huge mess. I am wearing like the oldest t-shirt I could find, so if I make a mess, I won't ruin my clothes. I have cut a piece of fabric now and I have everything I need here to do this, I hope. I'm going to use some newspaper to put underneath the fabric so I don't make a huge mess. I also have put some gloves so I don't get the paint all over my hands. I've got my patterns here. Okay, so I have decided to do a medium one, which would be this one, because it's quite complicated and intricate, and I think it will test well whether this is going to work. In the actual skirt, I want to mix them up and just use all of them. But for this test, I'm going to go with this one. Now, I've decided I'm going to sponge the paint to get it in more evenly and to try not to make huge blobs of paint everywhere. So I bought these little sponge thingies um, to do that. I'm going to cut it in four pieces so that it's more manageable and I don't waste a lot of sponge. So I have my sponge here and now I just need to go into sponging really. This is going to be a huge mess, isn't it? <coughs> it's going to be a huge mess. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, so I have some old containers that I've been keeping God knows why, so now we know why. <laughs> it was meant to be. I'm going to pour some of the paint here and hopefully I will be able to sponge it better. Oops, that was a lot. That was a lot, people. It's fine, it's fine, I'm going to need a lot for this because it doesn't sponge really well. Okay, so here we go. Sponging, sponging. Okay, I'm not sure if this is going to work, but I am trying, I am trying. I have no clue what this is going to be. Hopefully it will be recognizable. Na, 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 na. 
Please don't kill me because of my singing. I know it's terrible. I'm not sure what this is or if this is working. I'm just going to sponge the rest of the paint. Is it supposed to be this solid? I don't know, this is so weird. I guess the glitter that it makes it, it makes it like that way. Okay, so I'm done sponging paint. Let's pull this out and see what we've got. Well, okay. That is not too bad. It looks like something. It's a lot more clear than I expected. Like the paint has gone in between though, because probably because I was like really like putting it in because it wasn't going in that easily. All right, so let me try something different because this kind of worked, but um, I'm not sure if I'm like super into it. Oh my God, it went through completely. Can you still see that? Is it noticeable? Just barely, I guess. I mean, it doesn't look too bad. It's quite shiny. You can't really see anything. Let me see if I can wipe out my flash can you see the shine there I guess so hello again it's the next day and I am back in my old t-shirt and ready to show you what happened with yesterday's testing and ready to do some more testing <laughs> so I ordered the other um, paint so the paint I was using yesterday is this one it's the glitter something something paint and I bought this one to test it it's supposed to be opaque it says glitter opaque there you go and I have also bought the same two paints in silver there you go so the same glitter and opaque shimmer so first I'm going to show you how yesterday's testing turned out it was a bit surprising, I'm not gonna lie. I have it here. So let me see if I can show you this real fast. Is this the right side? No, this is the right side. Okay, come on. As you can see, hopefully, the um, yellow thing that you could see yesterday just after finishing painting has completely disappeared. It dries clear. And only the glitter remains. I'm not sure if it's noticeable, but it looks quite pretty actually. My concern about this is whether the glitter, because it's pretty much just glitter, might fall off when you wash the scat in the washing machine. So I will have to test that. Uh, you're supposed to iron this after you finish painting it and it dries. You're supposed to iron it and it will like bind it to the fabric and then according to the packaging both the opaque and the glitter one is supposed to be permanent or as permanent as any paint might be and you can wash it up to 40 degrees uh, celsius so i don't know because it looks like just plain glitter it seems to be like really attached to the fabric at the moment but i want to test that just in case it does look really pretty in any case, I also want to test the other kind of paint to see how it looks and I might want to combine both. If the other is just opaque and it covers quite a lot but it's not very shiny and I want a little bit of shine, I might want to put a little bit of the glittery one on top. Now I have a test fabric as well for the blue um, skirt, so I'm going to test the silver paint in this piece of fabric as well as the second gold paint in the existing red fabric. I'm not sure if that makes sense, but I will do it, so you're going to see it anyway. So that's fine, it's fine, it's fine, everything's fine. I'm not sure if the sponging technique is the most efficient here. I also have like a brush, and I need to like go with the brush <laughs> because this, I feel like I'm wasting a lot of paint by doing it with a sponge, and I don't think it's super efficient to be honest uh, okay I give up I have a brush here let's 
with you. Okay, at the moment that looks kind of like shit, but it may look amazing when it dries. Okay, so I am going to do um, one more test. So I will put a little bit of the other glittery paint next to the one I've been using. There you go. And I am going to combine both and see how it looks in the end when it dries. Okay, that looks interesting. Ooh! Actually, it looks like nothing because it has bled in a lot. And at the moment, it is not a snowflake. It's not a snowflake, people. Look at that. It's terrible. It's so terrible. Okay, here we are again. I can't believe I forgot I had this proper painting stuff. Like, honestly, I have proper painting stuff and I forgot I had it. <laughs> Do not drop shit. Uh, since I'm already using this paint, I'm going to do the mixture of the both Okay, and finally I'm going to do the just glitter one. Ooh, that looks kind of cool. So, I am back one more time, and as you can see I have a slightly different setup today. And this is because I'm going to be painting the entire sketch, and I need the whole table. So, I want you to see as much as possible. We'll see how that works. Because the skirt is too big for this table, but um, I'm gonna do my best. <laughs> oh boy. So, first of all, I have the samples that I did. I haven't really looked at them today, so I am going to be surprised too. And so, these are the samples that I, think I was working on yesterday. Let me go ahead and close there so I can show you what they look like now. Um, so, this is the red fabric this is the paint that i tested yesterday and to be honest it looks better when it has dried but i still like the other one with the glitter a lot better it's a bit more subtle and it has a lot more shine i'm not going to like get the flash out again but like you can probably see that it shines a lot more this is the one where i mixed both paints and it looks pretty, I mean, look at that, it looks nice. But it might be a little bit too much in your face. I mean, from afar, it's really there, you know. And one of the things I mentioned yesterday is that the paint was bleeding out a lot. And then the design is not recognizable anymore. Uh, not really. So I don't like that. Now for the blue okay this is the solid shimmer paint i like the silver a lot more than the gold to be honest it's not too bad but i still like the only glitter more that's the one i think it looks a lot prettier i don't know this is the one where i mix both and I mean, it looks nice, but the problem again is that the design disappears a little bit. And I went into the red and I will show you the final result of both. Okay, so I've placed part of the skirt on the table. As I said, it's way too big to like put it all in, but um, oh well, I'll do what I can. I have 
six different designs. I'm not sure if you can see them from the distance, but there are six different snowflakes. I want to make every skull different, so I'm going to kind of improvise. So uh, without further ado, let's get started with this thing. sell it for less than a hundred pounds because it's going to take hours. I mean it looks really pretty though. <laughs> Uh, but why does it take so long? Oh boy, okay. Hey there, I am back at it and as you can see I'm almost done. I'm just going to make one final snowflake right here and it's going to be the really small one so hopefully it won't take very long. Okay, so I think that looks really cool. I don't think it needs any more, I hope. I'm going to hang this to dry now and uh, we're gonna start with the second one. This is going to take forever, isn't it? Oh boy, I feel like I've been doing this for years already. The paint has now dried in both skirts and it's time for the next step, which is to iron. The design so that it binds like the paint binds completely with the fabric and it will not go away when you wash it this fabric melts if you go too hot on it so you can do that you have to be really careful with fabrics like this that are really thin because if you um, try to iron them too hot you will literally create a hole in the middle of it so yeah just be really careful when you do this. As you can see, I'm almost done with the blue skirt. And once I finish ironing, what I'm going to do is let the fabric cool completely in both of the skirts. And once it's cool, I'm going to put both of them in the washing machine in a short program of about 30 minutes or so at 30 degrees to make sure that the uh, paint doesn't come off. I have both of the skirts here, so I'm just going to throw them in there and I'm putting like half a cup or so of soap. If my camera decides to like focus one of these days, come on. Hello. Yeah, so half a cup of soap or so. And I'm going to throw that in there. Not fabric and conditioner, the condition. Conditioner? Is that how you say it? Yeah, fabric conditioner, is it? Yeah, okay. No, you can't use it with this kind of fabric. It will ruin it, so don't. Okay, so I'm going to close this. I'm going to do um, a short cycle so I don't waste too much water and everything. So let me flip this for you. Okay, so I'm going to do the delicate program. Let me switch it on. And I'm going to do 30 degrees and quick 33 minutes. There you go. So 30 degrees, um, quick program, 33 minutes and delicate. So let's go. Put start. And is it working? Yeah. Okay. So it is on now, I will get back here when it's finished and I will show you the result basically. I am back, I had a shower while I waited and let's see what happened with this. It has just finished, so let's take it out, oh boy, oh boy, it's really tangled. Ugh, I also put like a black skirt that I needed to wash as well. So. But that, but that is not included in this video. 
it's a new model that I'm going to be releasing soon as well. Okay, so let's take this out. That looks pretty good. If my camera focuses one of these things, come on. There you go. It looks good. It looks just as it did before I put it in. So that looks that seems promising. Yeah, and again, it just looks the same. It's a pity you can't really see the shine with this light, sterile light. But yes, it seems perfectly fine. Cool. So it worked absolutely fine. As you can see, I'm going to put this to dry now. When I get to sewing them, I will also show you that, but it won't be today because it needs to dry. So I'm going to put them to dry now and I will see you soon. Hi again guys, it's time for the next step of the process, which is the actual sewing of the skirt. As you can see, I'm in my tracksuit. If you've got a problem with that, then... Well, you've got a problem with that because I don't really care. I'm going to be using this silvery plastic bond and I am going to be using this thread. Now, it's really silvery. Shiny, can see. Yeah, it's very silvery, but I just did a test and it breaks really easily. Let's see if I can show you how easily it breaks. Yeah, you see. Anyway. but I haven't had the time to record the end of this video so I'm doing it now and luckily it's a gorgeous day outside so we're going to be able to see this skirt under the sunlight which I think will help uh, bring out the shine we shall see I haven't actually tested this so hopefully you'll be able to see it like it's weird things in the camera sometimes don't come across as well as you see them in real life but oh well Here's the final result. So first I was working on the blue one in my last video. So here it is. I'm not sure if you can see that any of the shine. You can probably see the shine of the waistband. It's super shiny. So here's the blue one. This is what it, this is what it looks like now. And this is the red one, which I haven't seen like even close to finish. And this is what it looks like now. That's what it looks like. And I think they turned out really pretty. I hope you can see the snowflakes in the light and how they shift and how it looks like super stunning. So there you have it, that's the way, well, it's, it's one way, a very time consuming way, oh, to be honest, of making your own DIY Christmas skirt. So if you want to like wear something a little different and a little seasonal for your and Christmas workshops or your Christmas classes or if you do ballet all throughout Christmas this is so pretty and if you really can't be bothered and you want to grab one of these they are going on sale in my Etsy shop at the exact same time I'm uploading this video so you can go and check that out I will put the link uh, down below in the description box so you can enter my Etsy shop and get yourself one of these two and I also have other skirts with different colors they are like plain colors uh, mostly so they're not as exciting as this ones but like if you are more of like a you know 
plain fabric sort of person you can go and check that out as well the link will be below and I'm also going to put links to my dancewear socials in here so you can go and check that out if you're interested I have more pictures I have videos and I have all sorts of uh, more information there so you can go and um, check that out and follow me there if you're interested in this kind of content or you want to keep in touch or check what I release in the future or if you want to ask me any questions or request a specific color because I might be able to provide it for you so go and check that out if you're interested now at the very end I will add a little promo clip that I recorded to promote these two skirts and you will be able to see um, how they behave when worn and also um, some close-ups of the detailing in case you are interested please keep watching and I will see you in the next one bye